Hi, this is the installation guide for modding your Final Fantasy VII game. It's not as complicated as you think. Just follow these instructions step by step and your game will change from looking like this to this. There are three things you will need. You will need Seventh Heaven, the FFNX game drivers, as well as the IRO files. The IRO files are just the mods that Seventh Heaven uses to mod your game. So let's get started. For Seventh Heaven, you will just have to click on the link provided in the description of this video. When you get to this page, you will just have to scroll down or either click on this button here and it should take you straight to the download link to where you can download the setup executable. Um, it'll be this one. Click on it and start downloading. You will also have to go get the game drivers, which is the FFNX uh, game drivers. If you scroll down a little bit, you will have to download the 1998 version and none of these other versions because Seventh Heaven patches your game so that it runs on this version. So let's click and download this as well. And last but not least, the mod files. And don't worry, all the links will be provided in the bottom uh, below this video in the description. You can pick and choose which mods you'd like to download and install. Um, I ended up just downloading everything because these mods can be disabled at any time using the 7th Heaven program. There are two sets of mods that I use, but there are many more mods that you can download. These are just my favorite ones. The two mod sets that I'll be using for today and for this installation will be the Tuna mods or SYW is one pack, as well as in the Nexus, there is Nino style, which I've also downloaded. There are two sets of packs that uh, you can download from him. It's this one, the 7th Heaven Character Mod Pack, as well as the 7th Heaven Chibi Field. Okay, once everything is downloaded, you should have your 7th Heaven uh, Setup uh, EXE, as well as your FFNX uh, Game Driver files. It will come in the zip. Once you extract it, it will look something like this. And the IRO files. The IRO files will all come zipped up, all you'll have to do is just extract them and place them wherever you would like. So the first step, let's install 7th Heaven. All you do is double click, say yes. A setup wizard should pop up like this. When you first install 7th Heaven, your Final Fantasy 7 install directory might be empty. And all you have to do is browse and actually go and look for where your game is installed. Mine is obviously E Drive, Steam Libraries, Steam Apps, Common and then down to Final Fantasy, and I'll click Select Folder, and the install location, this is the install location of 7th Heaven itself, this you can just leave as standard in default, and click Start Setup. Install as finished, click Close. Now after 7th Heaven has been installed, we'll go into our game driver file, and open up this file, the ffnx.toml and open it up with um, Notepad. And what we'll have to do is we'll click Ctrl and F so that we can search for animated underscore text and click once to find the line where it is and we'll have to change false to true and click save and close from there all we'll have to do is just copy everything in this folder let us go to our seventh heaven folder that we've just installed onto our computer for me For me it was C drive, program files, 7th heaven and go down to resources and open this folder. In this folder some of you will have a game driver folder and others will not. If you do have a game driver folder I will suggest to create a backup of that folder so in case anything happens you can always just revert to that backup. But for me I do not have that folder so I will just create a folder. 
with that name. So right click and create a folder. Game driver. Capital G, capital D. And I will paste what we've just copied. Say do this for all current items. Continue. Okay, good. After that, we are going to go to the Final Fantasy VII game folder. So for me, it's in Steam library, Steam apps, common, Final Fantasy VII. Locate the ffnx.dll file. Create a backup of this file. So what I normally do is I just add an extra dot backup and click enter and now that we have a backup of this file we will just paste the game driver files that we've copied from earlier as well paste and replace files as needed and done from here we can actually start modding the game so firstly what we'll do is start seventh heaven so let's start the program Click yes. For paths, if your path is empty, you will just have to go into that icon over here and go and look for your Final Fantasy 7, the ff7.exe file. Do not choose the Final Fantasy underscore en.exe file or the Final Fantasy 7 underscore launcher.exe file. It's this file. And click open. Everything else should be as default. Click save. Okay, so before we start installing any mods, let's just see if the game runs. Click play. Ah, once the game starts, it will normally start in a small window like this. All you'll have to do is to make it full screen is you can either click this uh, maximize button, but as you can see, it will always leave a window so all you have to do is click Alt and Enter, and it should uh, make the game full screen. Okay, the game seems to run. Let's just go into the game. As you can see, it's still the old FMV, as well as the original graphics. But at least now we know the game runs with all the changes that we've done thus far. Um, on to modding. Okay, now that we are sure that the game runs, Click on this icon to import your mods. Once we import, we can either import from folder or from batch, but I find that it doesn't really uh, work all that well. So I usually do it one by one. Click on the browse icon and go to, and go to the folder that has all of your IRO files. For me, it will be in mods, games, Final Fantasy VII, IRO files, and install them one at a time some of these files are very big and might take some time to actually import into uh, seventh heaven it might even seem as if seventh heaven is uh, frozen but just be patient and in time the mod will show up within seventh heaven and then you can go on to the next one so if we just install battle textures click open click ok this is all in real time for this mod since this shouldn't take too long and there we go it will automatically be set to active but the fantastic thing about seventh heaven is that you can actually toggle each of these mods that you've actually installed so you can play around with uh, the different type of mods so you can download various versions of battle textures and actually see which ones you like and which ones you don't uh, without the bother of uninstalling this mod and installing the new mod and which takes a lot more time than just uh, deactivating it so for us we let's just take a file that uh, we can see that uh, the mods are also working let's take the menu and fonts um, since that's right at the start of the game we can access this click OK sometimes you'll come across this uh, warning um, if you do not know where the mod comes from or you do not trust uh, the modder then do not install it I do trust this modder so I will install it is even an option to install this mod 
deactivated or activated. I will activate this. Click OK. All right, let's start the game up. As you can see on the home title screen, everything looks already a lot sharper. So I already know that this mod is working. Uh, but let's just go into the game and um, have a closer look. As you can see, we still got all the original textures except for the fonts as well as the menu. Let's just go into the menu. Ah, everything looks much better. So yeah, the mod is working. So we can then go on and start installing all the other mods that uh, we want to install. And I'll see you once everything is installed. Okay, once you've installed all the mods that you wanted to install, your 7th Heaven program should look something like this. Um, this is my setup. Uh, and as you can see, you can just toggle these on and off and actually have a look at your game and see if you like it or not. So one other thing, or two other things actually, uh, like many games that you mod, uh, the mod order is very important. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, in case you're having issues, maybe just click and drag it up and see if that helps. And the second thing is, uh, as we just complete um, these mods, when it comes to the FMVs, if you open up the page with the IROs that you've downloaded from Tuna Mods, um, there are two FMV files. Um, you can only run one at a time. So I will be running the, the 6.32 FMV file since it's a higher number and I think it's uh, improved better. It also says uh, use only if you don't want to use 30 frames per second for the 6.02 so i think it's running at a lower frame rate um, so if you want a higher frame rate this is the file to use that's what we're going to use for this mod okay okay let's start the game you should see now that the fmvs are running at a greatly increased resolution and everything is much sharper much more beautiful less pixelated and at a higher frame rate. So once you have modded the game, you'll actually notice that what you arrive in is actually a train. And here we have it, the models have been updated, trains updated, uh, the world itself as well. Um, if we let just go into a battle and see if that's also been updated. Everything from the menus, to the battle textures, to uh, the magic and the special effects. Lovely. Look at that nice magic effects. Okay, that concludes the installation guide for 7th Heaven and uh, Final Fantasy 7. A few more things. Um, if you just click on each of these mods, you will see on the left hand side is a small description as well as a comparison shot of what the mod itself does, uh, which can help you. For those that have been following this installation guide, if you've opened up 7th Heaven for the first time and installed your first mod and wanted to test the game out and the game does not launch, all you have to do is just close out 7th Heaven and then just restart it again and test the game and uh, it should fix itself. Other than that, uh, all the links are in the description. Hopefully this installation guide made it a bit easier to mod Final Fantasy 7 and maybe check out uh, some of my other videos uh, and perhaps subscribe to my channel. I'm almost up to a thousand subs and I would really appreciate it if you could uh, Hit that like button and um, comment below if you have any questions. Or join my Discord and post screenshots if you're running into trouble and I'll help out. Enjoy!